Oh, let me get my my headphones on here. All right, what remains of Edith Finch? Oh, we're already we're already gaming. Oh, this I got me some flowers, a blue backpack. Edith Finch. Flip a page. How do we... Oh, okay. Nope, that's not right. Nope. That one's not right either. There we go. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. With the house. Huh. Okay, I already like the graphics of this game. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Orcas Island Gazette. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Yeah, we'll just leave them in there. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Uh oh. Dude, I really like uh the narrative so far. In her will, my mother left me a key, but Are the narrating. It unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Who do we want to go dark or lighter? We'll go, we'll go darker. Croaky frogs. What's up, croaky frog? Where you at? Oh, it's not like real life. It's unplayable. I used to work at a lake doing uh, water treatment, so... The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Well, before I was so rudely interrupted. The woods around the oh house my God. have been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Okay, so, I used to work at the lake, water treatment, blah blah blah. And we had both frogs there, and as soon as you got close to them, they'd be like, Meh, and then jump in the water. And then they'd every be, everybody'd be silent, except for me, because I'd be giggling my butt off. See, that's all that she she just needed to give me time to get that out. Old truck. Okay, so I'm just gonna guess that that other path came down that way, and that the narrative's the same. The house was exactly like I remembered it. Wow. The way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I mean, I could... I mean, it's got a two-car garage. I'm sure there's a theater room in there somewhere. Probably a gaming studio. I mean, this girl's ungrateful already. Home gym. Milton. Milton Finch. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, this is where you find the boogeyman. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Alright. You know, maybe this ain't the best game to play after I just watched The Conjuring.
<laughs> home Alone. Hello. <laughs> we gotta do the Home Alone thing. Oh, we gotta do the Home Alone thing. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. We just up and left all of our stuff here, huh? Those tools? All them tools, man? That old car? Hey, I did that. I did the tennis ball on a rope thing. The power had been turned off the night we left. For the first time in years... I felt like I was home. That changed differently. Uh, her her tune changed quite a bit. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, I, I could imagine, uh... Nothing in the house looked abnormal. <laughs> there was just too I, much... I better not say it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. What? Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Hmm. Comforting. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. So there's even more house that's sunken. Oh. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Oh, kind of beautiful. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a scary Maybe game or this. what. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through Molly's the gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> those poopies? I think those are poopies. Gerbil's gerbil's missing. I'm I'm gonna call it right now. Being inside for the first time? I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Okay, I'm gonna call it right now. Big ass giant mutant gerbil. Jellyfish. 
Yeah, some of these videos might end abruptly. Just so I can get them on the next one. And keep them like a half hour. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Dude, she gonna eat frickin' gerbil pellets? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Gerbil turds. So all the fish, protein. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Second harvest? Second harvest. Oh. I kept eating and eating. Oh, that's bad for you. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... Whoa. I was a cat. I'm a I guess tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I'm gonna get you. I don't... Pounce, do the butt wiggle, butt wiggle. <laughs> butt wiggle. Oh, it's all about that butt wiggle. Uh oh, I lost it. There it is. Oh. Can I make it? I can't. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I'm gonna get you, Birdie. Eating that plastic and toothpaste, she started to hallucinate. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up, and suddenly I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, the grass. Rabbits. Right there. There it is.
Oh man, I'm I'm an apex apex predator. You know, if I, uh... I'm gl I'm... I'm gonna get hit I by a car. And into the ocean. Wow. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I'm glad I'm not, uh, under the influence of anything, cause I'd be laughing. I'd had to pause the game. Controls aren't reversed, and I just got done with Entwine, so... This might take a little... A little getting used to. What am I, uh... An octopus? And can I go? I don't know if I can go under there. Okay, I probably should have tried. Scared me. Headphones, man. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. What are you doing? Get in there. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. And I think I'll stop it after this dream. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Oh, it's Pickle Rick. It's either the fish or the gerbil. Or her parents! All of my stomach started growling. 
and suddenly I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> Okay, Molly, you uh, you need some uh, some help, some some therapy. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Interesting. Interesting. Uh oh, is that the cat? All this right. will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Oh, jeez, my cat just jumped up on the counter. Bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Huh. Alright, well, you're gonna stop this here, and we'll catch you in the next one.